Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jewelry by Monique. That is my channel. I am Monique, or some of us know me as Monica. And um, I want to do a video today that has to do with some vintage. This will be my Saturday matinee vintage. Um, very nice, wearable vintage costume jewelry video sale. And um, some of these pieces people may have seen before. Um, but I do have a lot of new subscribers. I've got probably 150 here since maybe March or April. And I would love, or probably January or February. And um, some people have not seen these pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, a lot of these pieces are marked. And they're very, very nice pieces, all wearable, um, all in beautiful shape. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. I just want everybody to know I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you all for subscribing and being so generous with your thumbs up and your purchasing and your friendships. It's just meant the world to me. So on this channel, we do not purchase in the comments just because I have problems getting comments. I'll have notifications of a comment, but they will not be under the video. So it's very hard for me to gauge what, who was first or second or whatever when that happens. So if you email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com, all small letters, that's how we will um, purchase. Everything that's in my videos, um, it keeps track of times and everything for me, so I don't have to worry about skipping over someone. Plus, um, if you haven't registered with me to purchase anything, um, I'd love for you to subscribe and then email me your PayPal email information and your shipping address, plus your actual physical name not just your YouTube name. So um, all you have to do is email that to me and then you're free to purchase. And um, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna start with these little earrings. I don't believe that these are actually vintage, but I just think they're cool. Um, these are like a acrylic confetti type of material. And this is a gold tone hook here. So they would sit on your ear about like this. And that's what I look like from the side. I think they're summery and beautiful. That's why I wanna go ahead and sell them now um, and not wait. So this pair right here will be $3. They look brand spanking new, okay? Okay, the first piece I'll show you, that is a super vintage. It is a brooch, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's Vendome. I have actually looked this up before. Um, this is very, very pretty. Um, the pennant uh, is the back. And these are like wire set. And um, if they're not completely straight, you can move them and straighten them out. Or maybe even move them a tiny bit to where you want them. But this is absolutely gorgeous. It has the little um, faux seed pearls. They're all there. I checked and made sure. You have rhinestones in each one of the flowers and a rhinestone in the very center. And this Vendome piece would sit like this. And like I said, that is the back. The pin does stick out a little bit. And that kind of shows it's vintage and it's a little older than some. And um, I'm going to put 16 on this, okay? Very, very pretty. It is a little over two inches, like, circle. Okay? Beautiful. And gold tone on the, the, um, it's not silver tone, it's gold tone. Okay? So, next we have this beauty. This piece is spectacular doesn't look like it is worn in any way, shape, or form. The inside is perfect. There might be one little tiny scratch right there. I don't even know if that's a scratch or something on there. 
that will wipe off. It is in fabulous shape. Um, these always throw me. This is a crown trafari. You can see like the crown. Because for all I know, this could have been a Monet. Now this does fit me. Um, it's a little smaller, not a lot. I think this would fit seven, seven and a quarter. You just have to get it over your hand, but look at that spectacular um, diamond etching of this gold tone beauty. Isn't that lovely? I wish this was a clamper because more people could wear it, but yes, I can get it over my wrist. Um, this is approximately, almost exactly two and a half. And let's see, let's use the poor little cone of shame here. It goes down to about seven and a half, which is about right. Or if you have a smaller hand, probably seven and a quarter would be fine also. And that's that's mainly for putting it on because even though my wrist is six and a quarter, it has to be a certain size to get over my hand. So you'll always have a little bit of play in it. And this is probably about the smallest I'll get that w that I could wear without just, you know, being ridiculously um, knocking it around and everything. So I love this. This is very, very pretty. And on this crown trafari, I'm going to put seven. Very, very pretty. Okay. Next, let's do a necklace here. Now, I've shown this a couple. I've had two of these. That's why I think... I keep showing it. It's it's not the same one. There's two of them. And I've sold one. This is Sarah Coventry. That is the back. This is just beautiful. It has a textured, probably a transfer. I'm not positive. But it's super textured and very, very cool. Let's see if I can get you to see the texture. Let's see here. Yeah, there you go. And this little piece... The bell that goes around and everything is just gorgeous. It is on a nice little Rolo chain. Spring ring clasp. It is right at 22 inches. And I'll put, let's put, um, let's put $6 on this one. Okay. Told you it was a sale, so that's what it's going to be. Okay, next. Let's do, oh, this is pretty. This is a little vintage brooch. And this reminds me of the 60s and 70s. We had some um, Christmas items that we used every year that came from Germany. And they were like, one was a little music box that played Silent Night. And it had little figurines around it. And you pulled this pin out. It's, it was wooden. You pulled a pin out and it played the song. And went around in a circle and it had places for a little for the four advent candles and this reminds me very much of that time which would have been the early 60s this is a little filigree kind of a diamond shape and it looks like an older pin back and i yes it does stick out a bit on the pin and I think we'll put $3 on this. It's just too sweet. Isn't that neat? I like that. Very pretty. Okay, I'm digging. Okay, this one. So it's got a summer vibe. It ha it's like a Y necklace, and you've got almost like sea glass. And these are glass pieces. You've got what could be faux, but it looks like mother of pearl. And these pretty little, um, just like, almost like a coin there, a little filigree coin there, um, a black, looks like enamel piece there, some more mother of pearl, and this up here. And this has a maker's mark. This is, oh, this is Leah Sophia. How pretty. Okay. So this is very nice, very summery. Um, this is right at 22 inches. 
uh, almost 24. It'd be 22 without the extender or 24. And this could go shorter because this um, could hook all the way down here if you wanted it. You could make it much shorter. But I just thought this was just amazing. I thought it was very, very pretty. So we'll put, on the Leah Sophia, we'll put six. Um, let's see if I've got something. Oh, well, yeah. Now this is an older brooch. And I'm gonna shut it real quick here. Um, I like it because it's a pendant and a brooch. There we go. And it will stay in there. This does stick out just the tiniest bit. I'll show you the front. You can tell it's older style. I just think it's neat. So there you have the pin. So it would sit about like this. And then the brooch. I mean the the pendant right here. You've got the bell there for the for you to put the chain. So it is really pretty. I have not cleaned it. I think it could take a little wipe down and be even shinier. And we'll put five dollars on this one. A little vintage brooch. So pretty. Okay. It is right at two inches across. Very nice. It's just a little over one inch wide. Okay. Let's see what we got down. Let me dig. I'm gonna dig down in here. Um, this is beautiful. This is a beach wear gorgeous um, statement piece here. I don't know why I haven't sold it yet. This is kind of like a canvas feel, um, almost a blue jean material that's super clean. It is brand spanking new. This is uh, designed in Rhode Island. St. Thomas is the name of the company, the brand, and it is on the hang tag. You've got this beautiful lobster. The gold tone is perfect. The canvas feeling rope here is just in great shape. This has little crystals throughout. I think they are absolutely all there. I don't know if you could get prettier than this. I just, I just think it's fabulous. Look at it. That is just a statement for sure. And that's the back. And it is actually three different. There's one, two, three. Yep. So it does have a little bit of um, give to it. See how it's kind of cool like that. Okay, so I think on this one I'll put 10 just because it's so cool and it's in such beautiful shape. And it is right at, um, it's almost 18, uh, it's almost 16 inches. And it could be a little, it could go up higher on your neck if you wanted it to because you have this beautiful chain up through here. Isn't that pretty? So we'll just put 10 on it. Beautiful piece. Okay, next. Let's see what we got. What have we got? Oh, let's do these earrings. These are pierced. These are kind of a scallop design. These are a real pretty gold tone. Sometimes it's hard to see how gold they are, but they're very close to this. The gold tones. And these are really pretty. They are not marked, but they should be. These are in great shape, little door knockers, kind of a scallop design. And we'll put $3 on these. They look brand new. Okay, next we have this piece here. It is not marked, but it's a beautiful clamper. It has a safety on it. It's got a gorgeous design right in the center of this metal. Um, I'm not sure what it's made of, but it looks like it almost has a um, gold overlay into the side piece here and through here, kind of like a vermeil with the silver tone. Um, I don't believe it's a um, sterling piece. It is not magnetic. But it's just really neat. 
It is an oval. And like I said, you won't lose it because of your safety, but look how attractive that is on your hand. And I love this piece. This has like a rose and a little texture through this center stripe. Just like that. This could fit somebody with a smaller wrist. Um, let me see how wide it is now. It's an oval and it opens, so it could fit someone that might not have an opening because your hand's a little bit bigger. This is about two and a quarter across, which doesn't mean that much because it opens up. But this is approximately, this is about a seven and a quarter. So we'll put, let's put $4 on this one. Not pretty. Okay. Um, I have a Kate Spade here in the bag. This is, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is a little um, rose gold bow ring. And what does it say? Let's see what it says. Um, Love Notes is the name of it. It's in rose gold size. What's that say? Size six? Yes. It says it's a size six, and I will make sure. But look how sweet that is. I just think it's darling. Um, I think it came in this box. Um, let me look here. Let's see if it says six on mine also. Yes, it's about six and a quarter. So that would fit on my, not that one. That one's my bigger one. That would almost fit. Yeah, that would fit. And it is a light gold tone. It is, I mean, a uh, rose gold tone. It's beautiful. So I'll put it back in there. Like I said, it comes with the card. It comes with the dust bag, the little baby dust bag. And I'll see. Let's put 10 on this. Okay. Let me put 10 on that one. We have another bracelet. And this is beautiful. Look at that satin finish on that. And I think I've showed this one before. This opens up, which is beautiful. This is a Coro with the little Pegasus right there. This thing is neat. And like I said, it opens up. And it's a clamper. And it clamps down. This is a smaller one. This would fit me perfect. So I'm thinking six to six and a half. I mean, six and a quarter to six and a half. Um, just because it doesn't have a lot of um, extra room. This Coro is gorgeous. <clears throat> Let's see what it says on my cone. Yeah, it says about six and a quarter six and a half so even though it's smaller it is absolutely spectacular and so neat look at that and that's how it looks it's in perfect perfect shape no scuffs nothing um <clears throat> let's put eight on the coro it is just beautiful Okay, that's what it looks like when it's shut. And that's the front. Okay, next let's go for a let's go for a necklace. Now this necklace here is oh Nola Miller. I'm sorry, I almost forgot. And it is beautiful. It has um, some little rhinestone beads. And some faux kind of uh, peacock pearls. They're more of a probably a silver gray pearl. You don't get a lot of the rain, you know, a rainbow color out of these, so it's more, more a um, almost a platinum dark bead faux pearl. And then you get these little rhinestone beads. Um, his his jewelry is just so well made. 
Here's the extender. It has one of those little pearl beads on it. That's weird. That one almost feels real. And then we have Nola Miller. This is beautiful. Let's see here. This is 16 inches, just a little more. And you do have an extender that can make it a little bit longer. Just like that. So this beautiful piece I will do... For the Nola Miller, let's do eight. Okay. Just gorgeous. <clears throat> Understated, but absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now I have a Lariat style. This is a Monet. I know it is. Yes. You can tell. This is a Monet. This is a gorgeous gold tone with kind of a, it's like a, what I call a Singapore herringbone. It has more or less like an S. It's flat and it's S. And it's, this is very sturdy. It's not like a, a sterling, depending on how it's made, a sterling herringbone can be so fragile. This is in great shape. And like I said, it can be any length you want it to be. Um, this goes probably 24 inches total. And the drop could be anywhere from 16, 18, 20, 22. And it's just a beautiful piece. And he is just a cute little turtle. I think he's a sea turtle, honestly. Then you have the little beads, and he's not heavy. This is not a real heavy piece or anything. And you've got the little squares at the bottom. You got a, yeah, they're kind of round and square both. And so I think for this Monet piece, I'll put, <clears throat> let's put seven on him. I'm trying to make sure nothing's over $10. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday. I think these are, what are these? These are Napier, okay. These are nice, these are pierced. These are pierced. Napier is on the pin, I mean on the um, earring backs. And these are just a really pretty gold tone, kind of a diamond cut, um, textured pierced earrings very nice these will look pretty would probably be mistaken for gold hoops because they are so pretty and you know they're older and they have just kept that beautiful gold tone color look at that isn't that pretty so let's put on these napiers let's put hmm, let's put five and they are pierced, which is really nice. So many people have pierced ears now that they didn't back in the day. Um, these are the Sorellis I still have. They have the beautiful backs on them that came with the earrings. These have a little um, AB double um, crystal. Then we have the little red stones there and the much golder AB at the top. Like I said, it's pierced. They are pierced. They have the original backs on them. Um, they actually say something. And then, of course, on the back of this, it says Sorelli. Right there. Okay. And then this says, let's see what it says real quick. It didn't say anything. Hmm. And don't forget to clean, clean, clean before you put any earrings in. These need to be cleaned. Not the stone part, just the back and the stem itself of the pierced ear. These could be wiped down a little bit, I think. But as far as immersing these in water, mm -mm, I don't think that'd be a good idea. So these Sorellis, I'm going to put 
Yeah, they're, you know, they go for a little bit, but let's do, let's do $8 on these. They are so pretty. Look like a little cherry drop or something. Okay, put those over there. Next, we have another Sarah Cove. Beautiful faux turquoise. And this gorgeous pendant. Very, very nicely made. And then we come up here. We have the Sarah Coventry logo here. And the hook and eye, which I love. This chain is gorgeous. It is 22 inches total. And I just think it's a beautiful piece. I think it could go with so many different things. This almost, to me, looks like faux Larimar, honestly. But it's kind of southwestern, and it's got the S's there. I just think it's very cool. So for this, Sarah, let's do, let's do seven. Okay. Now we have, I do believe this is my Trafari. But I have to check. Let's see. Let me check real quick. Nope, see, I'm wrong again. This is a Coro. This is just beautiful. It says Coro right here. This is a hook and eye. It says Coro right there. This is in absolutely fabulous shape. It is just beautiful. And that's kind of how it works as far as to wear it. The back is in great shape. Look how shiny that is. This is like, it was m made yesterday, you know. It's just too pretty. Okay, let me give you a measurement on this one. It goes approximately, if I remember right, this is about 15. So this would be beautiful if you're wanting something up around your neck and don't want to wear sterling. And you've got this pattern design that goes with so many things. And I think this Coro, <clears throat> I think I would like to put, um, it's in such great shape. Let's put eight on this Coro, okay? Very, very pretty. Now that one, oh, I've got this still. This Cloisonne, the bigger bracelet, it's a little bit thicker. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's very, very pretty. Now, before I forget, I do have a couple people that I'm invoicing and shipping out tomorrow. Um, if they want, if you guys are wanting to add anything, I have not closed your packages yet. So if you want anything out of this video, I can add it to whatever's coming to you tomorrow. Okay? So this Cloisonne is absolutely gorgeous. I do believe it's Japanese. It has like the cherry blossoms. You have like the cherry blossoms and the brown for the um, branches of the tree and the green for the leaves. And it goes all the way around in and out. This is very, very pretty. So I can't remember what I had on it, but I think I'm going to put, let's put 14 on it. And it's nice. It's a bigger size. It is actually right at two and a half across. And I think this is about an eight. Yeah, this is about eight inches. So anybody up to probably about seven and a quarter, as long, or seven and three quarters, as long as you can get it on over the wrist. There's quite a bit of room, maybe even eight inches. <clears throat> so that one is very pretty now next I have another Kate Spade and it has its tags on it it is oh it's so pretty let's see here it's a bangle um, oh it's not marked Wow, but it's still got his tag on it. 
here. So this has never been worn. This one says, um, and the saying is the name of it, but I can't remember. It says, perfect pair, um, partners in crime. <laughs> How cute. I think it's like a friendship, the friendship bracelet or something. Peas in a pod, you know. Side by side, side kicks. Um, birds of a feather. Oh, how sweet. Two of a kind, yeah. And it's, um, let's see, it's marked on the inside. It says, yeah, best friend ever is the name of this bracelet. And it is marked Kate Spade, New York. This thing is absolutely in fabulous shape, and it is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. And that's the tag, but there's nothing written on it. So this is in 100% like pristine condition. As long as I've had it, it's been in the bag and in this bag. And I think I'll put 14 on it just because it's just gorgeous. This is a friendship bracelet. You know, I didn't really tell you the size of it. Hold on here. That's not going to work. It's a bigger one, and it's nice and thick. Look how thick it is. Just in beautiful shape. It is approximately two and a half across. I can get it on very easily. I have quite a bit of room left. Okay, let's look on the cone of shame. And it is saying probably right at eight inches. Okay, so that's a beautiful piece. What time are we at? Oh, we're only at 30 minutes, that's wonderful. And of course I've got more vintage, but it's not, these are more of the marked pieces. I tried to kind of divide them up and then I do have another whole tray full um, of things that'll probably even be less expensive than these are. Not that they're expensive, but okay. Next, we have this lariat. This is very, very iconic to the 60s. This is um, marked down here. The square Monet. This thing has a brushed silver tone tassel, double tassel here, and all you, look at this, it's a Rolo, it's like a triple Rolo, this is the most gorgeous silver tone chain, it is cold, and the thing about this is, this is a perfect match, isn't that wild, so this piece right here is right at 24 inches and with the lariat all you do is just put it on or you you can do this before you put it on you just knot it you just give it a knot this is just beautiful okay so this is knotted and it is right at 16 inches and with the tassels and everything it's right at 20 23 something like that but yeah this can like i said it doesn't have to be knotted first um this thing is just beautiful i'll just leave it like that so you guys can see how beautiful it is and i think on this monet we'll do 12 that's you know fabulous it's like in a hundred percent pristine condition also Okay, next we have 1928 at its best. Show you the back. This is the pattern, 1928 on the back of their jewelry. This is just a large, which would have been like a, a faux onyx pendant, or this might have even been used as a morning brooch or a morning um, necklace. 1928 right here 
Isn't that pretty? You've got this. This has a um, lobster. I couldn't even say it. Lobster clasp. It's in fabulous shape. This necklace alone is probably worth some money. Just the chain. It's in spectacular shape. This is a longer one. This is probably... Hmm, about 30 inches, 29, 30 inches, but yeah, this thing is fabulous. So we'll put 10 on the 1928. Okay, next we have another piece that is just pretty cool. It is a little, um, like a lariat. There is no marker on this one. Let's see, that's the back. Or is that the front? I think this is the front. So we have the mesh necklace with the little lariat Y here, gold tone. Just very, very pretty. It's in great shape. I'll show you that there. Isn't that pretty? And this is the front part that goes up around your neck, of course. It does have an extender. It is approximately almost 16 inches, and it could be a little bit longer with this um, extender. But I thought it was very pretty, so we'll put, eh, let's put mm, six on this. Yeah, let's put six on that. I was thinking maybe seven or eight, but no, we don't want to do that. Um, this is a gorgeous piece. This is very antique looking. I do not believe it is. I was so sure this was 1928, but as you see, it does not have that iconic design on the back. This, for all I know, could be Avon. Looks like something Avon would make, but there's no, there's nothing on here. But it is just plain and beautiful, and it is right at almost 18 inches. It's about 17 inches, and with the drop, it's about 18 and a half. And it's got this beautiful heart. Isn't that pretty? And let's see. No, nope. I don't see anything that would mark it. But let's put five on this one. It's in good shape. Very good shape. Okay, this one's interesting. This is another Monet. And I've got it twisted. Hold on here. There we go. Um, what? Hold on. This says Sterling. Okay. Don't believe so. This is not Monet. I'll be. This says Sterling, but I don't believe it for a minute. This is actually sticking to the magnet. Might be sterling plated, um, but it's just so interesting. So up here, it actually says sterling, but that is not true. You, but this snake necklace is really, really something. And then it comes down to this pendant that is just gorgeous. The crystals in the pendant are a little yellower. The teardrops are a little yellower, and up above is a little clearer, which could be on purpose. But I just think it's so interesting. Look at that. And it is not Monet, even though I thought it was. I just think it's beautiful. The necklace itself is right at 14 inches, and then it's almost 18 and a half. I mean, 16, 17, sorry. It's almost 17 inches total. So you could wear this almost as a, not a choker, but a, you know, higher up on your neck. You could take it off and wear this with a, another chain. Um, so we'll put six on this. That's very neat. This alone is worth more than six. That's a beautiful snake chain, okay? 
And then we will do, I have a, I have a Rachel Zoe. A Rachel Zoe, however you want to say her name. This one, it has the style number and everything, but I don't have a price on it. This is that gorgeous, there's her tag. It's that satin finish gold tone with the tassel that still has plastic on it. That is the piece itself. This is nice and heavy. Um, very, very well made. And when this comes off, I'm sure this will flare out a little bit and look very, very pretty. Um, for this Rachel Zoe, Zoe, I'm making sure it's all in. Yeah, it's in fabulous shape. Let's put 10. So pretty. I love her. I have always thought a lot of her. Okay, we have a little Damascene. And it is so pretty. It's like a little shield. It's on a gorgeous little, um, I think this is a 1 20th 12K, I do believe. Let me look here. I am pretty sure, but let's look. Hmm. Well, it looks like it. <laughs> looks like it should be. Okay, and on the back of the pendant is Reed and Barton Damascene. Reed and Barton is a fabulous vintage company, antique almost company. It says Reed and Barton. This could come off of here and even go on a sterling chain, but I will leave it on this because that's what I got it with. Isn't that pretty? So we'll put 10 on this one. It's very, very pretty. Okay. This chain is right at 17 inches and it is gorgeous. Okay. We've got a few left. Oh, let me show you this one real quick. This is a watch, Badgley Mishka. This thing is worth a little bit of money. It needs to go. There are no missing stones. This needs to go to your neighborhood jeweler for them to change out the battery. This has a, even has a stone here. And the pin, this I taped so it would not flip back and forth and cause wear of it just sitting around. There's the back where it says Badgley Mishka. I think it even tells you which battery. Stainless steel back, New York. Something I have. I don't know, but this would be a, a simple back to get off. I see someone has probably tried to change it before. Um, this is a fabulous watch. It is approximately, I don't know, it is, it's about two, almost two and a half across. So let me see if I can figure how big this would be. I would say it's probably about seven and a quarter. Without taking that tape off, I don't want it to to get messed up. But um, this is truly <laughs> a beautiful piece. Isn't that gorgeous? So I think to put a battery in might cost ten dollars. So I'm gonna put fifteen on this, and if you look it up online, it's worth a whole lot more than that. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Um. I'm just about done. I have an Ann Taylor I want to show you. Now, this is a uh, check glass, and it is absolutely beautiful. We have a spring ring clasp. Look at this. I'll show you these pieces first. We've got this lamp work beauty here at the bottom. Let me get you even closer. Isn't that pretty? Then it comes up to these two, look like little pieces of candy. And we've got this as it comes up. 
all of this is glass, and then you have um, probably glass seed beads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this place, I mean this place, this piece is very, very pretty. It is almost 20 inches, and it would just kind of sit just like that on your neck. Very, very nice. This piece right here has like roses or little, I don't know what it's got. Let's see. Yeah, it's got like almost like a little rose right there. These have like little flowers. It, yeah. And look at the gold sparkly glitter. So let's do 10 on this one. It's just gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Um, here it is. The others can wait. They're not really um, super duper marked pieces or anything, but they're pretty. Um, this is Ann Taylor. Still with tags. Gorgeous piece. Silver tone at its finest. There is her tag. Very, very nice. With a little rhinestone there. A little bezel set rhinestone. And Taylor, no, there's not, there's no um, price tag, but still, look at these chains. Look how gorgeous that is. Then you have these little um, silver tone beads with the um, gold tone rhinestones within, almost like little disco balls. Isn't that pretty? So this is probably around, let's see, 32 inches, I would say. So this could be doubled or it could be just worn as it is. If it was doubled, it would be about 14, almost 15 inches. If it's, so it's probably about 30 inches total. But this thing is pristine and beautiful, and we'll put $8 on the Ann Taylor. And I think we'll stop at that. The rest of the things I have, I'm going to probably try to sell um, for closer to 3 to $5. And then I'm going to have to go on the hunt. But we've planned our trip to Vaughn's. It's probably going to be in about three weeks. We're trying to make sure that we can get to Lafayette on the high, the you know main highway. They've been working on it. If we go the other way, we'll have to go about oh half an hour out of our way and go up and over and come back down, which is okay. But I'd rather go um, the regular route that we're used to. So and it's it's kind of a wild ride. It's not a real safe highway, so I'd rather go the other route and be able to get there and know where I'm at. I'm very used to coming in a certain way. It's a big city. Lafayette, Indiana and West Lafayette, where Purdue is, it's big. Um, and if you're not familiar with it, it's like being in a small city, not as big as like Indianapolis or anything like that, but it's still a bigger town, much bigger than Kokomo, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and uh, get off of here for now. Um, like I told the girls that I have packages that I'm gonna be invoicing tomorrow. If any of you girls want any of this, just email me and let me know, and I will include that with your invoice and your packaging for tomorrow, save you a couple bucks, okay? Well, you guys have a wonderful day off tomorrow. Hopefully, everybody's got a day off. Um, Labor Day, don't labor too much. Just rest and relax. We're going to try to cook out between the rain and um, play outside, let the baby go outside and play with his toys and stuff. So, you guys have a wonderful evening. Stay well and stay blessed, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys.